Good morning, everyone. It's Catherine and Wyatt from My Hillside Garden. Today is Sunday, April 19th, and it's Princess Peanut's birthday. I can hardly believe she's a year old now. So I thought we would do a garden tour. Come on, let's, let's take a walk around. We're going to start out this morning in the little greenhouses on the deck. I have the larger one, and this is one of the smaller ones. On the side here, look at how nice these hostas are coming, the ones that I took cuttings from. I cut through, or divisions from rather, I should say. They're coming along very nicely considering that the voles really did a job on those hostas I had out front. So, the winter sowings. If you haven't given winter sowing a try, I mean, now I do have them in the greenhouse. You don't have to do this. They'll be fine because they stay rather small until you transplant them. But I had really good germination with these this year, and I'm looking forward to getting more of them put out. These are the bachelor buttons. Let's see what the temperature is in here right now. I don't give this one a lot of credit. But because it is an old thermometer, I think it says 36 degrees, which is about what the temperature is outside. I've been slowly dotting onions around the garden. Here are the onion seeds that I did. Here are still the winter sowings. Look, I've had nasturtiums in here. The one thing that can make it bad, though, oops, sorry, is if the plastic is touching the plants and that's why I did put frost cover on these because oh, he doesn't look too happy no he still just got a seed head on him those are zinnias um, this past week we've actually had three nights below freezing there's the arugula and the lettuce that I just planted in those seed trays and I've had here in the greenhouse and um, I've been planting some out. These lettuce started in the grow room. I know I haven't done a visit to the grow room in a while, or I think this season. Look at those poppies. They were actually in a winter sowing jug, and I took them out and split them up. So, and here I have this whole tray is sown with lettuce seed. I know it's nothing to look at right now. And I had to do a whole thing of beet seed because I planted beets up in one of the current beds and the darn mice, they're just going along. It's so funny when you see it. If it hasn't happened to you in your garden, it's just you see hole, 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 hole. And it's right where you planted the seeds. There's some, um, this is peacock white kale peacock purple kale, or red kale rather, and purple peacock broccoli. I started those outside. Those little greenhouses really work well. These are also winter sowings that I did that I've since transplanted into pots here on these shelves. So we have some nice kale and cabbage. Um, there's some cauliflower. And all I've been doing is just putting this frost cover on the front of that to help them stay nicer. Here's some spearmint that's come back. This one I thought was totally gone and it has come back. The current bushes, those are propagation cuttings that I did. They've been coming along nicely. Here's some of the winter sowing lettuce seed that I've done and moved over. So my gutter garden is one of the best things that we've done. So let's take a look around. Okay, here are here are peas and radishes still under cover. I'm going to take them off shortly. So I'm trying to make sure that the mice don't get them. I have traps all around the yard that are inside um, pots, trying to keep the birds from going in them to get those guys. Now these containers are doing so well here. This is that microclimate that I have. Um, we have Swiss chard here. There's rainbow beets. 
then Danvers carrots, sweet candle carrots and radishes, more sweet candle carrots and some spinach. Here's the red vein sorrel, comes back every year and it does self sow itself. I just leave it. I love the way it looks. I hope you can see that. We don't add a lot of the leaves into our salad mixes, but they, they add a nice little flavor and they're so pretty in the garden.